G'day ice cream lovers. This video is answered to a lot of questions about whether we should be either ordering a bag of chocolate mix or whether we should be making our own. So this is a very quick and easy recipe to make what I call a triple dark chocolate. Now we're using anywhere between a gelato, a custard or a premium ice cream blend here. We're going to put about two gallons in one bucket and then a small amount in the other. Starting off here, we're using a chocolate extract. This is from Loran Oils. A lot of different companies make them, but this is two ounces of Loran's chocolate fudge extract. Uh, it'll give you a nice deep color. It'll give you that flavor as well. But we're also going to use two cups of this Oranger Double Rich Chocolate Base. You can see how thick and pasty that is. So we're going to take two cups out of here. And again, you'll uh, find that it'll be very, very thick. It won't pour. You'll have to really do a good job of blending this up. Now we're also going to take two cups of Forbes chocolate powder. Now we're putting this in the smaller container and we're mixing it individually or separately. You'll find that two cups of this powder will really have a hard time hydrating in the larger bucket. So we're going to put that two cups, mix it in there and let it sit for a little bit because it's important to have any powdered product in ice cream allowed to hydrate before we put it actually in the mix. We have an immersion blender here. We want to mix this nice and well. Now, if it was only the powder and the extract, we'd just use a whisk. But because we've got this paste, we really want to get in there and mix that up. We'll put the balance of the mix in that has the Forbes chocolate powder in. And you can just see that beautiful, rich, chocolatey and cocoa flavor and texture coming into the ice cream. It looks absolutely fantastic. And then we'll just use a whisk to round it off. Now, I will tell you that there is a cost, again, to making a product like this, but buying your mix in with cocoa or chocolate already in it is a little bit more as well. Of course, we're adding our vanilla. This uh, recipe, we're using a Tahitian vanilla extract, and we typically put a half ounce per gallon in just to lift that cocoa flavor. We don't do our regular portion, which is about one ounce per gallon. Again, we're going to use our immersion blender just to make sure that all of those different ingredients, those flavor profiles, paste, powders, and extracts, are all melding in with one another. It looks absolutely fabulous. Now, it's always good to have a taste of that. Remember that anything that you taste in its liquid form will be a little bit dissipated when it comes out of your freezer. So if it's a little bit stronger than you want it to be, that really is the key. We're going to drop this straight into our batch freezer. Today, we're using the Electrofreeze batch freezer. Uh, we've sanitized a little bit, flushed the sanitizer out, and now we're putting that base in. Pop this on to uh, churn first and then to freeze. And you'll find that cocoa will depress the freezing point. In fact, no matter what type of extract flavor or puree that you put into an ice cream base, it will change the freezing point or the freezing capabilities of that mix. So you need to be a little bit more flexible. Cocoa will depress the freezing point, so it'll take a little bit longer to freeze than would your lighter colors like vanilla and your fruit flavors. I'm going to take our three-gallon bucket out of a pre-chilled condition here in our freezer and pop over to our batch freezer. Now, you'll see with expansion and overrun, some of that product will actually expand out into the chute. That's fine. We put our bucket in place. Now, we're not doing any variegates or ribbons this particular batch. We're going to just put it straight into our bucket. Now, I've been using this machine enough to know that this product was ready, although a spatula test is good. Make sure you can... Get a bit of that product, sit it on a, on a spatula, make sure that it's firm enough that you want to extract it out. Now, look, if you're going to go the route of buying a bag of chocolate mix, I think you'll want to put some kind of extract in there to make it your own, to make it that proprietary flavor. But this is a great way of being able to produce a chocolate base or a chocolate ice cream product from a white base. You can just order the white base without the logistical nightmare of vanilla and chocolate. Uh, and it's a good opportunity for you to have a very proprietary flavor. Bit of wax paper on the top, lid goes on the top, and then we are off to our blast freezer and then scooping this chocolatey delight up for our customers.